Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go ahead and implement a route that's going to update an order. So if you look at our mini documentation right here, we have uh, the route as slash order slash order status and then the order ID. So I need to copy this. We need to copy this route and then head over to our order routers. So I'm going to come right in here and what I'll do is to specify that this is going to be an order router. So what I'll do is to say the method so the method in this case is going to be put since we're going to be updating the whole object so right here i'll put in the url so our url is going to be this but since we have uh the prefix as slash orders we're going to remove this slash order so we shall remain with this order update uh, part and what i'm going to do is to come and say async and then i shall say def and this is going to be uh <coughs> Right here, what we're going to do is to specify that we are going to have our view function as update. So in this case, it's going to be update order, and then we shall specify the ID, which is going to be an integer. And we're also going to protect this. So what I'll do is to say authorize is going to be of type uh, auth JWT. And then this is going to be equal to depends. So then what you're going to do is to try, so I'll try, and then the first thing I'm going to do is to protect this route, so I'll say authorize, and dot, this is going to be dot JWT required, and then we shall accept any exceptions, so I'll try to accept, and I'm going to pass in exception as E, and what I'll do is just come and say uh, we shall raise an HTTP exception and then the status code of this exception will be status dot HTTP so this will be 401 and authorized and then the detail of this will be uh, invalid token since user will not provide a correct token or will not provide a token then they are supposed to see an error of a valid token all right so after doing this we're going to go ahead and be able to query for that specific order so what i'm going to do is to query for the order so i'll say order is going to be equal to a session dot query and then right after doing that, we are going to specify the order. So the order, the order model, then we shall filter our orders by the order ID. So I'll say order. So this is actually going to be ID. So I'm going to change this. So this is going to be ID. So I'll say order dot ID is equal to, uh, if it's equal to the ID, then we're going to return the first object with that specific ID. So after doing this then we are also going to get uh, <coughs> our our order so what i'll do is also come within our function and i specify that we need an order so we need to get the we, we need to pass our data through our order model so as to validate that data so what i'll do is to say we need to have an order actually i'll call this order then it will be of type order model so this is whatever data that we're going to send uh, to update this specific order so i'm going to come right here and what i'll do is to actually go ahead and update this so i'll say order dot so in this case we're going to get the various fields on our order so if you look right here we have uh we have what if you look right here we have uh on our orders we have the pizza size a quantity and the user id so what i'll do is to come and say so i'll come back to our order routes and then i'll say order dot so this is going to be dot quantity it's going to be equal to so right here we have our order so we can say order dot quantity actually what i'll do is to actually specify that this is going to be order to update so i'm going to change this variable to order to update so that we prevent the confusion so right here i'll say order to update so this will be order to update dot quantity and in this case which will be order dot quantity so this will be the order the quantity that you get from 
the data that we pass through our order model. So we are also going to specify that order to, in this case, we're going to say order to uh, update dot uh, pizza size is going to be equal to uh, order dot pizza size. So right after doing this, we're also going to go ahead and uh, specify that we're going to have, uh, so in this case, we have order to update, and in this case, it's going to be pizza size. So we're also going to specify the status, but the status is only going to be updated by a supervisor, which we're going to see in the next video. So what I'll do is to go ahead and simply save this using our session. So I'll say session dot add, then what I can actually do is to just commit this since we're updating. So I'll say session dot commit. And right after that, we're going to use our json obey encoder to return an, op an updated order. So I'll do is to say return a json enable encoder. And we are going to return our order to update. So we're going to return the updated order. So I'm just going to return the new state of our order to update. So once I've done this, I'm going to pull up the terminal and hoping that our server is running. I'm going to head over to Insomnia and create that specific crowd. So this is going to be update and order. So this is going to be a put request. Uh, we're going to specify our body. So I'm going to go right here, specify that our body is going to be of type JSON. And then we're also going to pass in the authorization header. So I'll come right here and specify the route that you're going to make this request to. It's going to be localhost 8000 then slash. So what I'll do is to come right this side and specify this. So I'll copy this and then say slash orders and then slash. Then you're going to pass in this. So I'm going to simply come and require acquire a new token. So I'm going to go to the login. And if I send this, we are going to come right here. So let's say we've copied this token. So I'm going to copy this token. And right after copying that token, I'm going to go to that specific URL. So I'm going to go to update and order. Then I'll go to the authorization section and say provide a key of authorization. And then the value of this is going to be bearer. And then I'm going to paste in the token. So once I've done that, I'm going to head over to our JSON. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to first acquire the schema. So I'm going to just come right here and I'm going to get this. So I'm going to specify our body. I'm going to go to Insomnia and put in the body. So right here we have uh, our order. So we want to update an order of ID. So, so let's try to see. So right here we've got a specific user's order. And let's say we are updating that with an ID of 10. So I'm going to come right here and provide. So this is going to be uh, order slash update and then the ID. So I'm going to come, this is going to be order slash update. And then we're going to have our ID as 10. So actually change this. So. I've done it wrongly, so I'll head over to the update order. So this is going to be update, then we shall pass in the ID as 10. So let's say we wanted two large pizzas and this order has uh, two uh, medium sized pizzas. So let's see how we're going to do this. So if I send this request, so right now it has been okay, but it has returned uh, an empty, an empty, uh, Okay, so let's see what's happening. So if we try to get this specific order of ID 10, so we need to go and get the order by its ID. So I'll come and say we're getting an ID of 10. I also provide the, the token. So if I actually, I'm going to go ahead and copy this token from the login. So this is going to be, so when I come right here and get it by its ID, I'll acquire the token once again. Once I acquire the token, I'm going to go to get order by ID and then I'll paste in the token. So if I send this, 
we now see that our our order has been uh, updated.